Just two months ago, we were making resolutions. Cut down on carbs, lose weight, start exercising. Well, it's now the end of January, February, excuse me. And if you're like me, maybe we didn't follow exactly through as well as we should have. Dr. Aboud has some good news for us, for us backsliders for that matter. Uh, and his advice is think small, not big. And you'll be surprised what big changes will take place. Dr. Aboud is with the Soul and Spine and Wellness Center. Thanks for joining us, Doctor. Thanks. Doctor, what do you mean by think small? Well, it started that idea. I was reading an article about the, the city of Chicago, and there was um, a, an engineer that found a leak in the subterranean tunnel, and it would have cost $10,000 to repair it. But he got turned down, and it ended up costing the city a billion dollars when it breached the walls. And so, in my mind, the moral of the story is a little bit of prevention goes a long way. How does that apply to our resolutions? Well, think about it. I mean, uh, our health is built on day-by-day-by-day -by -day -by -day situations. We didn't gain that extra 30 pounds overnight. It took, we earned it, you know, and we <laughs> earned that extra, you know, punch that's sitting in our stomach. And so, each day, if you make small changes, bigger like results what? end up. Like what? Well, for example, uh, did you know that if, say you drink two Cokes every day, two bottles of Coke, and if you change nothing else and you switch to one bottle of Coke a day, you would lose 36 pounds. 36 wow. pounds. And doing something like that will make you want to eat healthier, right? Exactly. Assume. I mean, it's not glamorous. It's not glamorous to go to lunch and eat a salad when everyone else is eating hamburgers. But at the end of a month or at the end of six months or at the end of the year, it pays off huge dividends in how you feel. What about exercise? How do we think small with our exercise? What about instead of, you know, watching TV, you take a half hour walk each day? makes a huge difference, makes a huge difference. Or instead of that uh, full pack of cigarette, you cut down to half a pack of cigarette. My, my wife has suggested that I get rid of the clicker for the TV mm -hmm. and get up and change the channels. And I've thought about that, but I think I'll, I'd rather do the treadmill, right, actually. Right. <laughs> uh, so now all of these things almost sound too small to make a difference. I know, but I love what Stephen Covey, the author of Seven Habits, wrote. He said, start with the end in mind. And I think if you start and say, okay, here's where I want to be, here's what I want to weigh, here's what I want to be like at the end of this year, and then go backwards. What do I have to do today to get there? And just say, Set yourself a plan and go by it slowly and celebrate. Find the extraordinary in the ordinary, you know, in taking a walk. I, I, in my experience, people come out of the box, you know, they're all pepped up, they want to exercise, they want to lose weight, they want to do, and they take on too much. They do too much exercise at once and it mm -hmm. creates an injury or it creates a problem. It really does and that's what we're seeing in, in our practice over years is people that have just tried to take it on way too quick and, and have not taken the slow approach. And your practice is helping people with back problems. And actually, if somebody has a sore back, it makes it harder to start exercise because you don't feel like doing it. It's a vicious cycle, right? And, and it happens in reverse, too. I mean, if you're gaining weight, 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 it's putting more and more pressure on your spine over time. And it is heroic. Many of our surgeons out there are doing great work doing with back surgeries. But I think it's time to celebrate some of the guys that aren't adding all that weight and are staying healthy. And, and our office is dedicated to working with chronic back pain patients before they need surgery or sometimes even after they've had the surgery that didn't work out so well. And you've well. done some great things with people. I know I've actually uh, had personal testi testimonials from people come mm -hmm. to me and tell me that uh, your lumbar decompression and other things has been helpful. Nice. So thank you. Good to hear. So if big changes in your lifestyle seem overwhelming, follow Dr. Aboud's advice and think small. But don't give up the TV clicker. For more information, give him a call. The number's up next. Learn more by calling the Soul and Spine and Wellness Center at 440-248-5070 or visit their website, www.soulandbackpain.com. Next, women, men, and money.